Welcome to the Victory XR AI Creator Tool. Using this application, you can create AI lessons as well as AI conversations. AI lessons are scripted experiences in which you can add assets, such as assessment questions, images, videos, and more in order to help teach a subject or subjects. AI conversations are unscripted experiences in which you craft the backstory, personality, and knowledge of a character. And then users can experience and speak with the AI in a conversational style. Examples of this include mock interviews, simulated patients, negotiation practice, and so much more. So let's get started. Let's take a look at lessons. On the first page, you start by simply filling out preliminary information, such as the lesson title, description, subject, and grade level. For this example, I will be focusing on an invertebrate biology lesson. So I will put in my title, the description, and the subject, as well as the grade level. The grade level will help the AI know how to respond to questions at the appropriate grade level of the user. From here, I will hit next in the top right corner. This next page is where you will create the visual of the lesson. We will start by naming the avatar that will act as the teacher in this lesson. My avatar's name is Charles. Next, you will pick what you want your avatar to look like from our ever-growing library of avatar options. I like this one. After this, you will select the voice of your avatar. No need to rush. We'll get there together. Let's focus on understanding. Don't worry. I'm here to guide you through every lesson. I will pick this one for today's example. Next, you will select the personality of your avatar. Your avatar can be serious, fun, excited, or witty. Don't worry, this can be changed at any point, so if you're not sure, take your best guess on what you think you want and come back later and change it if you change your mind. I am going to choose excited. Finally, you will get to pick the environment in which your lesson will take place. For mine, the science classroom just makes sense. Once you have chosen your environment, hit next in the top right corner. This brings you to the editor page. This is where you will script out the sequence of your lesson beginning with the initial curriculum you want your teacher to follow. We will begin by adding some lesson dialogue using the paragraph option at the bottom of the window. Since my inspiration came from a lesson I previously taught in the classroom, I will simply copy and paste this information. If you don't have a script but want to save time, try out our built-in AI text generator tool. To do this, select the AI button in the top right corner of the paragraph box that you added. Once selected, you can prompt AI to generate the information you need for your lesson. So for example, I can type, please generate an intro for my invertebrate biology lesson, and then hit generate and AI will generate the text that I am looking for. It's important to break your script into paragraphs with frequent breaking points in order to allow yourself plenty of places to plug in other assets. After all of my dialogue is added in, I will start to add other elements, such as this whiteboard text element. Whiteboard text elements have header and body text options as well as a box for setting the duration that it stays up. I will have my whiteboard text stay up for 45 seconds. Next, I will add in an image. Remember what I said a little bit ago about having breaking points in your script. This is where those breaking points come in handy because I want my image to appear at a specific point in the scene. I will drop the image element here right after this paragraph. If you don't have a good break point in your current script layout, that's okay. You can always break your paragraphs into smaller sections to make it work for your lesson. Now, back to this image. When adding an image, you can choose whether you want your image to appear to the left or right of your avatar, and I will choose left. I will now select the Upload from Computer option on the left, then select the red Select Image File button, and navigate to the image I would like to upload. Once I have my image selected, I will choose the duration that I want it to stay up. I will keep this image up for 30 seconds. I also have some assessment questions baked into my script, so I want to add those in actual question form. I will click and drag the multiple choice questions option up underneath that paragraph. Now I will copy and paste the information into the boxes and indicate which is the correct answer. Let's add another. Finally, let's take a dive into the 3D objects feature. Click and drag the 3D object module into your editor. From there, your screen will look like this. You can pick from our catalog of 3D objects. You can either search at the top of the window, or you can browse page by page. For today's example, I will select the Earth object and add in my corresponding title for it. Let's add another just for fun. I like this Pentaceratops object. Once you have your lesson how you think you would like it, hit next in the top right corner. This brings you to a page that prompts you to set up each object. What this means is you can add interaction points to certain places on the object. 
For my example, I added North America and I will label it as such. When this interaction point is selected, the AI needs to know what to talk about. So the prompt text box is where you can add that information. It's not a script, it's just a prompt telling the AI what to talk about when this is selected. You can add as many points on an object as you want. We will add one more on Africa. You can now continue to do this on each of your objects. Once you are done setting up your objects, hit next in the top right corner. Remember, you can always come back and modify any of these choices if you don't like something. Now on this final page, you can select the visibility of your lesson. You can keep it private to your account. You can keep it within your organization. Or you can make it public so anyone can use it to learn or teach. Since I feel like letting others learn off of the lesson I created, I will select public. Next, make sure the category and subcategory are correct. You can also upload a custom thumbnail to your lesson that will appear as the cover art within the library. Custom thumbnails can help with organization and making lessons easier to find. Once you have finished on this page, hit save experience and then hit play experience to see how it turned out. Hi, welcome to Victory XR's virtual invertebrate biology lesson demo. Great question. In biology, function refers to the specific role or activity of a structure or process in an organism. So that is the lesson part of the AI creator tool, but let's take a look at the conversation part of the tool. On this first page, you will be able to select from a few different templates. These include general, patient, and interview. The number of templates will grow over time. For this example, we will select patient. Once you select your option, hit next. This next page will be where you will fill out information surrounding your AI character and the scenario you want to build. First, enter in the experience name. Second, you can add in the medical history that you want the patient to reference. Third is the patient's backstory. Fourth is the patient's personality. Next, you will set the scene as well as add in an opening statement. Remember, you can always use the AI generator tool in the top right corner if you would like assistance. Once you have entered all of this information, you can hit next. The next page will allow you to select the look of your avatar as well as the voice and the environment. The avatar, voice and environment options are ever growing. Once you have all of this selected to your liking, hit next in the top right corner. Now on this final page, you can select the visibility of your lesson. You can keep it private to your account. You can keep it within your organization, or you can make it public so anyone can use it to learn or teach. Since I feel like letting others learn off of the lesson I created, I will select public Next, make sure the category and subcategory are correct. You can also upload a custom thumbnail to your lesson that will appear as the cover art within the library. Once you have finished on this page, hit save experience and then hit play experience to see how it turned out. My ear really hurts and I don't want to go to school today. Hello, Jake. When did this start happening? Um, hi. It started hurting a few days ago. I think maybe three. Now let's say you found an error or you just don't like how something looks in your lesson. To go back and edit it. Just go back to the page you were on when you were creating the lesson and navigate back by selecting back in the top right corner. Just go to where you want to make the change and make your edit and then resave your experience. From there, go back to the lesson window and refresh the page and you will see the change take effect immediately. Good work. That is it for today's invertebrate biology lesson. Have a great day. If you have already closed out of your browser and want to make a change at a later time, return to your VXR Nexus dashboard. Click on Victor XR AI. Click the drop down menu in the top right corner. In the drop down options, select My Experiences. Find the experience you would like to edit and select it and then hit Edit Experience in the top right corner to get back to the editor. We hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you have any further questions, feel free to send us an email at info at victoryxr.com. Thanks for watching.